Dear loved one, I am sorry for being so out of tune with all that has contributed to us living what we are living right now. I did my best, yet my best was never good enough and I could not figure out why. The journey turned painful and some sort of addiction to the pain and suffering became unbearable. I had to find the answers to my questions so my spirit could rest in love, not in pain. I love you very much and I always will. What I am learning is that pure love has nothing to do with choices. Free will does. We all have different visions and aspirations in life which determine different goals, objectives and consequently results. I am here with offering you my apologies for being so keen in making this happen. My focus was just the end result which ends up with me not paying attention to the middle bits that are so important. I forgot about you and your preferences. I chose you and there is always a part of me that will continue to choose you in that scenario. I got impatient. I got controlling. I got possessive. Not of you but of the idea of our relationship working in that moment in time. I became attached to a journey where I was determined to make it a success. I became short-sighted, cutting out all the infinite possibilities that life offered to the dynamics of our relationship. My torched vision started creating limitations resistances and obstacles that once manifested in the current reality became so painful. I am sorry for my part in this co-creation. I know I did not make it any easier for you. But I also have to say that you did not make it easier for me either by being distant, aloof and not emotionally or spiritually present. And by not taking full responsibility for your part in this until the end. As a result, only your mind and body were showing up, and even then, sporadically. That hurt. It cut really deep. And when the time came, you were so quick to leave. To go. To vanish in the smoke that once was the burning fire and the reason for our connection. I don't blame you, though. If I was in your place, I would probably do the same. But the truth is, I am not in your place. I am where I am and where I'll always be. I am in a place where I know I could never keep you locked in the cage that you came in. I set you free in my perception. Within my limited vision, I kept you free within my walls, the limitations of my life. I wanted you near me, not realizing that your spirit yearned for freedom. That is who you are the mirror of myself that I love so much and hence was so attracted to. My favorite attribute in you led my wounded self to want to cage you. Not in the cage that you came in, but in the limitations of my vision of life. I pushed for your presence when all you wanted was to leave, to go, to be free, to explore, to live your life the way you wanted it to be. Not the way we wanted. Because there was never a we. At least not in that moment in time. My question is, is there ever going to be a we? I wondered. 
I hear, all in divine timing. So my dear loved one, I opened the front door for you to leave a while back, and you left, quickly, swiftly, painfully. Once you were gone, I kept your cage for memory's sake. I kept it, nurtured it, loved it. I kept it with the hope that one day you would come back. Not to be caged, but to be with me in my limited perception of our life. So far, you have not come back. And I went through the motions. Like a roller coaster, I endured all the bumps, the ups and downs, and I learned more and more about myself and myself in relationships. I realized that as long as I keep the cage as a symbol of my memories of you, it is the only thing I have that belongs to you. You will not come back because there is a different memory you keep. For you it was your prison, the boundaries to your freedom, and it took me a long time to understand that as my heart was wounded. My dear loved one, I have now destroyed the cage release the memories of the past and on the way to fully heal my once wounded heart. I love you more for it. I discover that freedom is when you get to love someone enough to want them to be free. Free to choose whatever they want because it is in that vibration of freedom that you know you have found your own freedom as they are your own mirror. And for that, I thank you, my dear loved one. So, with love, 